Morning girls, how we doing? Welcome back to Chantel Marie Foodie, the beauty, the beauty of the reverts of the Merriams. This is, I have a new health problem and weigh-in. She also has a new weigh-in, guys. Probably brand new made-up weigh-in. I was originally just going to skip through uh, this because I assumed, okay, it's going to be an intro and it's going to be the, um, the cameo plug. Weirdly, she didn't do a cameo plug. It's supposed to be a super serious video, guys, because it starts with her sounding all depressed. But I did just see this and I immediately, like, laugh because I'm like, I'm not sure what joke I want to go for if I want to claim this is, like, foodie beauty and this is Sal in the relationship because it is accurate to their size difference. Or if this is Sal happy because he's finally, like, pushing a little shit or something like that. I don't really know, guys. You know what? Just fill in the blanks yourself. I I'm going to be straight with you when I say that there are, like, how many? 12 mukbangs I think I'm skipping or something like that. Because I'm very far behind, um, and I just uh, don't care. <laughs> That's all I feel like I need to say is I just really don't care. I started watching one of the mukbangs by myself, not like through another reaction channel or something like that. And it was the one like straight afterwards where she's doing rice aroni, And it was just her e eating as many carbohydrates as possible on like the, the biggest dinner plate I think I've ever seen. Like, honest to God, it looked like a serving plate for like an entire family. Not just like a normal serving plate. Like one of those like huge, I'm not sure if the, like the filters had like crushed it and squashed it, but it looked like a surfboard kind of serving plate. It was ridiculously big. And instantly it was her just going, guys, I mm, want to mm, talk mm, about mm, all right, mm, so, uh, mm, uh, mm. every single other word was a bite. And I was like, I'm good. I'm good. I don't, I do. I, it was her getting ready to talk about a fake travel story. I don't know what the travel story is. I just assume it's fake because all of her travel stories so far have been fake. So I just like, you know what? I don't fucking care. I'm going to record this because I don't want to fall too much further behind. So I'm going to catch up. And then in my free time, um, unfortunately, like, I can't go to the gym right now. That's yes, usually when I would like listen to other reactors, but I'll find some time, I'm sure, to sit there and like catch up. So if there's any reactors you guys want to recommend to check out, um, let me know. If you people recommend to check out Sid and Sass for them going through the previous video, so I might do that. Yeah, I guess I've put up long enough. Let's go. Intros are so passe. Mm. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Back to another video. Like, that's well, so performative. She didn't know what energy level she wanted at the start of the video. So she wanted to be the high energy. Oh, wait, I, I don't seem depressed enough, guys. Hi, guys. The rain hides my tears. <laughs> I literally, like, woke up not long ago. Oh, my God. I couldn't tell by looking at you. And, um... Wow. Weighed myself. So oh. here's my weigh-in. Is that why you're so depressed? <laughs> Julia just sitting there going like, God, if you ever leave this window, I'm going to throw myself fucking out. Free me. Save me from the fucking bleak darkness of this world. Oh, the Quran's gone, guys. I guess she's not pretending to be reading it right now. Okay. Last way in April 27th. Oh, well, guys, she's lost even more weight. Look at our, our dainty health and fitness queen. 12 mukbangs later, and she's lost weight. <laughs> Who knew Amber, Amber's right during Shrimp Gate? Apparently mukbangs cause you to lose weight. <laughs> Alright, bro. I have a huge glass of lemon water. Wow, I just been, sure. I just woke up craving it. I don't know even know why. But. I woke up craving water, guys. I know I'm 500 pounds, and most people think I crave food, but I don't I actually crave uh, water and uh, asparagus, asparagus and uh, spinach. That's, uh, that's, my, that's my cravings right now, guys. Fuck away off. <laughs> Dehydrated, I guess. Yeah, imagine. Oh. Do you enjoy that mid roll on, guys? That icon, that's what she was saying there. <laughs> Look at this that's shit. Good. That's good, guys. See, I drink water sometimes. Yeah, F fitness, fitness queen. Do you believe me yet that I drink water? Because I film myself drinking water slowly while staring at the camera. Yeah, do you believe me? Fucking weirdo. I put a whole lemon. Oh my god, up your arse. Am I guilty of sometimes passing out without washing my face before I pass out? All the time. Yes. I love she even like had a word as pass out. Like it's not her fault that she's just too fat and lazy to fucking wash her face and just in general like wash wash her. In general, I shouldn't have included face there. That was me being dishonest with everyone around here. Just wash yourself in general. No, no, it's, it's a pass out, guys. She collapsed. She basically passed out, guys. Because she's so sick, guys. I, she even has a new health problem. Is the health problem narcolepsy? Is that why you randomly pass out before you can wash your face? So I'll go wash my face. I'm going to go shower, actually. Your bro. Wow, I believe you. Soon. Yeah, I believe you so, definitely. You I'm gonna wash my face. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, Char. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm it's super hygienic today. I love she even remembered that she was like clearly lying that she hadn't even washed. Like it wasn't just that I changed. I didn't remove my makeup and like washed my face last night. She remembered. Well, clearly that would have come off in the shower. Oh shit! I have to tell everyone now. I'm gonna shower. Saw my way in there. Um, yep. Finally lost weight. So I have impressive. No idea how I weigh that? I don't. I think I'm lighter than the last time. I was 157, maybe. Uh huh. It was because you, you know, pushed down a little bit harder on the counter when you're stepping on it. That then, that's how you lost the weight. There you go. Kilos. I'm pretty sure it's a 500 pound death fat. You probably could keep like track of your weight. You probably like, I think I've lost weight. 
I'm, I'm just so not sure, guys. I think you would probably keep track of that. Like, it's literally, literally your life. I have to check. Wow. But like, I this is a 1.25 speed. Holy fuck. The only thing I can think is maybe the swimming is working. It like doesn't feel like exercise. It just feels like. <laughs> Where was the swimming? I've only. I mean, this is not long. This is like the next day after I did my live stream, which is very fun, by the way. You should go and check it out. It was a lot of fun. But like, there was no swimming. <laughs> there was no swimming at all. There was like some walking, which is like fine. That's water aerobics. That, that's good enough. But then she has to lie and claim that she was swimming. It's like, you weren't. It's like when Boogie decided to do it. Boogie decided to do a health, health kick because he was pretending he was going to do boxings before he actually event, like over a year later, finally actually did do the boxing. He pretended he was going to the swimming pool and swimming for upwards of two hours a day. And he still was gaining weight, but he was swimming two hours a day. And it's like, bro, you haven't exercised in 35 years. You didn't swim for two hours. It's fun, you know? And like, you oh, feel yeah, a little burnt, like, a... like if you're treading water too long or if I'm wow. swimming too long without... When the fuck does she ever tread water? She li she showed us how deep she can go in the pool before she like had to like float in any way. And like, that was like all the way at the end. And I've never seen her go back down towards the end again after that. Touching the ground, but like overall, it's just like... Wow, guys. Nothing. I spent 10 minutes in the pool one night and then I ate uh, 72... Thousand calories on YouTube. So weird. That ten minutes must have burnt seventy three thousand calories or something. So it doesn't feel like exercise whatsoever. Then do it more. And that's the kind of <laughs> then do it more. I, like I need right now, you know. Um, so uh, as I can't believe this is one more device speed. Holy shit! Have a new health issue. My God. That um. Why was there a double jump cut there? Thumbnail says I do have a new health issue. Jump cut. That, um, <laughs> oh, it was only one jump cut. It was just a weirdly placed. Being taken care of. That's uh, being taken care of. Holy fuck. We went from her trying to be like, so, look at me. I'm so quirky, guys. I'm like uh, craving water right now. Uh, so good. To like this shit. <laughs> to her trying to pretend that she's sad. So I'm just assuming this is just like totally made up. I'm on another medication now oh my god I say what it is because you're I'm lying talk about it right now maybe because i won't remember it tomorrow when someone inevitably asks me on a live stream and i'll get it wrong and then people will have more proof that i'm lying uh remember like she didn't she change like what diabetic medicine she was on like twice by accident and like hasn't mentioned the diabetic medicine since then more than likely because she's not taking it because i don't think she would take med any medication unless she made it like candy flavored i don't think she would actually have it down the line i don't know i don't right. want to talk about it right now like, all right amber calm it. down uh, I'm just feeling like loaded, large. You know, I just don't want to talk about talk about it. I guess <laughs> <laughs> that, that's why. That's what when I would put up a live stream, guys, and well, sorry, not a live stream, a video, and put it in the title and all. Guys, I'm sick and there's something really bad, but I'm not gonna talk about it. It's like, cool. I, I see this video goes on for another 15 minutes, <laughs> so I wonder what we're gonna get to that isn't this thing that's in the th thumbnail. I don't know. Embarrassing. For the world. <laughs> oh my god! It's like one second, like ha ah, ah, ah. Oh, sorry, one second. Uh, I'm, I'm not ready for the world. <laughs> I can't. She just totally changed personality again. No. Ready, for, ready for the world to know. I for the world. Everyone's lining up. All seven billion people are sitting there, holding their breath, waiting for Chantel Marie to tell them what's wrong. You know this dainty queen, because we're all concerned. Because we're like, what? There's something wrong with you. We can't just look at you and just guess that. No, no, no. Everyone's wondering. All you know, all eight thousand people who like watch your videos. I guess mainly the seven thousand hate watchers. So, I'm I'm this way because I'm very tired and I'm just up. But no, because you're being dramatic. I wanted to do a weigh in and just see. I wanted to do a clickbait video. I mean a weigh in. <laughs> um. Get to the point, bro. I opened my agenda and I felt sad because I have all these goals. What agenda? And of my agenda and realized it was empty because I don't do anything with my life and that's kind of sad. <laughs> what are, what you know, goals? We were getting hyped up watching travel vlogs and things and I realized like... Are you? Why? Where we're going to be traveling, I'm going to be needing to walk uh -huh. so much. But you, you could say the same thing about Thailand. And in Thailand, she didn't... Like, Thailand included a lot of walking, and she just didn't. That's why she was able to produce, like... Was it only, like, 14 vlogs or something like that? And, like, they were filmed two to three a day, which implies that she did everything in the first week, and then for the next five weeks, she just stayed in her hotel room. There was no walking after the first week. Um, I did what I could in Thailand, but the trip would have no, been so didn't. much more enjoyable if I was in shape. I know. Imagine. That was... 
what, eight months ago at this point now? <laughs> Imagine some people would like learn from that and lose the weight as opposed to being eight months later and being fatter. Um, even for in shape people, where we're going is tough. <laughs> oh my God, she's being so cryptic guys. I wonder where she's going. But like, I, I love the even for in shape people, where we're going for is tough. It's like, well, not really. You can kind of like tailor any holiday to fit you doing anything, unless she is doing her thing where she's going to climb Everest. And then I guess, yes, we're in. It, there isn't really much you can do to get around having to walk a lot when you're climbing Everest. But for like everywhere else, it's like, well, if you go to like New York, it's like, well, you can take taxis, you can take the subway or something like that. Oh, well, you're going to Italy. I don't know. You could rent a moped. I would pay so much money to see her on one of the little Italian mopeds whipping around those tiny little streets. Oh, it'd be fucking amazing. But I won't back down. Wow. No, I won't back down. Wow. But you will die, like, soon, probably, of, like, a massive coronary or something like that. Sweet. Guys, I'm so sad. Look at me. I'm trying my hardest to cry. Do you feel sorry for me? <laughs> I don't give a fuck, bro. It's so fucking lame. <laughs> Oh my god, how about you just lose the weird? I don't know, maybe maybe then that might be interesting. I um I'm uh wasting your time. So uh, you guys have to uh watch more mid roll uh, ads. I have a new health problem. What is it? And this is the third time you said that in four I minutes. I feel defeated, I guess, a little bit. Well you should feel defeated. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try very, very hard to not to eat burgers, I guess. Pick myself up today. But you literally can't because you're so fucking heavy. There you go. You give me an easy one, bro. I'm sorry. I'm just opening Vice Schwartz cards here in the background. <laughs> Not for anyone who cares. Go on, kid. I'm clean my depression kitchen. <laughs> oh my god, my depression kitchen. Um, I guess that means you binged. I, I, I guess that's what she's saying there. Holy shit, her eyebrow. But well, on her eye, her uh, eye makeup is absolute trash. Her eyebrow is trash too. It's going. It's going bald as well. Oh my god, this is so lame. She's trying I'm so hard. I'm going to Like, how? Uh, swimming? Uh, fit. I'm not confused about my way. Uh, swimming? Did you weigh in while swimming? Is that what you're confused about? What the fuck was that? Oh, see, that even as a sentence. Um. It's called it's fake. Like, all of them. And, oh uh, yeah, if you're, like, new here, if you're wondering, I don't... Hey! ...show myself on the camera. You do. You're um, literally standing on the... I don't show myself on the camera. No. I don't show myself on the camera. You're on the camera right now. <laughs> she's about to say she doesn't show herself weighing in. That is incorrect. This is the first time she's decided to do that. When I weigh in, at least not now, just because, like, I don't want to have to get all dressed. This is, like, I don't know what's heavy. Like, it's not I don't want to get all dressed, even though I did it just before this video, which means you're dressed for this video, which kind of defeats the purpose of that you don't want to get dressed to do your weigh in. What? She, she's just stupid, right? This is dumb. This doesn't even make any sense. If you said I weighed in last night, fine, because you're not recording it last night. You're recording it now when you did your weigh in. Heavy material. She's so stupid. I just want to go step on, undressed, and see how much I weigh. Wow, which sure. is uh, the way most people do it, I think. And I cannot show my body, so. It, 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 which I think is the way most people do it. I, I don't know. Actually, I think most people, like, when they weigh, because especially, like, especially cause a lot of people, like, weigh in in public, especially a lot of people weigh in at their gyms and stuff, because their gyms generally have, like, really good equipment that you know you're going to get a good reading from. And some of them have, like, the grip thing where it shows you what your muscle mass is, what your body fat uh, density is, all that kind of stuff. So a lot of people, like, get, we get weighed in the full clothes. When you weigh in at the doctor's office, you're wearing full clothes. There are probably very few people, unless, like, generally pretty light people, I would say, probably weigh themselves like clothes because... It wouldn't make a difference. For her, she's 500 pounds. Wearing clothes doesn't make a fucking difference, you know? It really doesn't. But like, a lot of people like to weigh themselves at a single time, every single day, because they're like, well, I weigh myself every morning because that means I have, uh, I've maybe had the shit from the night before and I haven't had my breakfast yet. So this is the most, like, likely my weight will stay, like, consistent. So I, I will know, like, oh, here, actually, there is a bit of loss because, like, from this week to this week, I've actually lost a bit of it. Whilst if you weigh yourself one afternoon and one morning, it doesn't, it could be anything because you might have, like, dinner in you at that point. For her, that all doesn't matter. She is so heavy. Those slight variations mean nothing. That's how I do it. Like, just show you the result. Yeah. Which... Make up the result, um, yeah. I'm worried about any dishonesty. I've proven... I unlike you. ...that... I do weigh in accurately because when I've been weighing in with my scale versus when I weighed in at the doctor, they were the same. 
So when you faked it at the doctor and when you fake it at home, it's same. Imagine, imagine faking things and they end up being similar and they weren't even similar. They were like kilograms difference, <laughs> which, which is quite a lot, especially when it was like kilograms lighter than she was claiming. Because when she went to the doctor, she had claimed that she had actually lost weight, which is weird if she claims she weighs herself naked to like remove kilograms worth of clothing apparently, but then she's even kilograms lighter than that when she is wearing the extra clothing, so it didn't make any sense. Um, I don't have any reason to lie about my weight, I'm only Either. showing myself doing that, and if I really wanted to lie- You're lying about your relationship, you rely about how you treated your animals, you rely about your relationship with the bees online, you rely about your financial situation, you lie about the reason why you're going to Thailand, you rely about the reason why you're about to go on another holiday here, you lie about- Everything, like unironically, everything, bro. So, like, your weight, your weight ain't sacred. Lie about my weight. I would probably say that I'm 200 pounds, not three, not 350, 60, 70, whatever. 350, 60, <laughs> 70, whatever, whatever. I pretend that it was. I love she even glances like side. She's like, shit, I fucked up. I fucked up. I didn't, I didn't even remember what I was pretending my weight would be. <laughs> I also love that she does this, like, bounce back and forth between like kilograms and pounds. Like, I use kilograms. Like, so anytime you ever ask me how I weigh it, I will say kilograms. I always told people, because, like, that's not overly common over here. Like, a lot of people use, like, pounds and stone. And a lot of people just say, I, bro, I don't know what that is. Like, what is it in stone and, kil and pounds? And I'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't, why would I know that? I wear myself in kilograms. So I don't know what I am in, like, pounds. <laughs> you know? Um, like, her, she just bounces back and forth interchangeably between kilograms and pounds over and over and over again. And she just gave herself a 30 pound window of what she may potentially weigh because she forgot what she was pretending to be right now in pounds because she weighs herself in kilograms. It is so fucking stupid. It makes no sense. And yeah, uh, you wouldn't actually lie and pretend that you're 200 pounds or 250 pounds or anything like that because people don't believe you pretending to be 360, 70, 80, 400. People don't believe you pretend to be that. They're not gonna believe you pretend to be 200 pounds. Look at her nervous drink. I don't think I could get away with that, though. You don't get away with this, so yeah. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine, there yeah. Was a time that I, what? Imagine lying about your weight. <laughs> Imagine, guys. Imagine. Is that? I don't even remember. The smallest I remember being is 295. Wow. 295. That's embarrassing. Like, and humiliating. I was a lot at the gym. <laughs> what the fuck? I was working out a lot at the gym. I was 200... I was 300 pounds. We're, we're, we're going to say 300 pounds, foodie. Imagine the lightest you've ever been. It's, and I'm not talking about baby fucking Chantel. Maybe she came out of 300 pounds. Who knows? But the lightest she can remember being is 300 pounds. And she considers that her working out a lot, like physically fit Chantel. I think 280 pounds is considerably higher than even my highest weight ever. Suffering. <laughs> and I'm a guy who's like eight inches no taller than her, nine inches taller than that her. That's literally true. Is it? Not for your heart. I think your. I think the pain in your heart's probably pretty bad. Well, but so is staying the same, and I have to keep telling myself that every day. Do you want to keep being unhealthy? Do you want you to? You do. You really do. Live to be. Uh... I don't know, 45, 50? Yeah, maybe. Or do you want... I think that's a real... 45, 50? Mm, 41. Come to on. To live to be, you know, maybe 70, 80? Why would you want that? <laughs> I'm going to do something like a dick again. Why would you want that specifically? Like, why would you... If you're Chantel and your life is this pathetic, why would you be like, oh, I hope I make it to 80, guys? Why? Depends. 90? Who knows? Only Why? Guys. If my life was this guys, shit, I wouldn't want that. To be responsible for my, my health. Um... Yes, it is. And accountable for that, so. Surprise, surprise. I am going to try, try, try to... She is talking so... Like, I can't believe this is 1.25. I know I've said that several times recently, but I can't believe this is 1.25 speed. Like, I usually don't consider putting up to 1.5 speed because I think a lot of people wouldn't like that, and then people listen to me at, like, 1.5 speed, so they really wouldn't like to hear the, the mixture of the two together. But I'm stunned at this. Um make today a completely healthy day wow sure bro with my water have i mentioned this lemon in it if i can do like at least a whole day of just like taking care of myself and not binge eating not you've claimed that you have been doing that like i don't like i said i haven't watched like her, her all of her mukbangs and all but she's pretending all of them are healthy she's pretending like they're all home cooked meals guys i'm not binging right like be, just based on what i can see briefly you know? But uh, is she admitting then that she's done shit? Like, she needs to, like, I just need to do one day of not being shit. Ooh, eating. Oh, thanks for yawning at us. That's really nice. Junk food. But you said you haven't been doing that. You've been cooking sugar. at home. Which, by the way, is horrifyingly dangerous for somebody with type 2 diabetes. Wow, really? 
foodie out here with the hard hit and you. Did you guys know that lots of carbohydrates and sugar is bad for foodie beauty who is super diabetic? I didn't know that. I'm glad she is instructing us of this. For some reason. Wow. <sighs> Did she? I don't know. See, I never get with this because she's doing this like big, like big play, obviously. And no one likes her. Like, no one likes her. Even, like, her hardcore beezers are, like, they make fun of her. If you actually just watch what they say, they're very clearly making fun of her or trying to milk her for tea. Or even her hardcore beezers are, like, trying to fuck with her. Like, no one actually likes her. Who is this for? Is this for her family? Is this for Salah to try and get Salah? Like, Salah, you need to stay here with me because I'm dying. You, If, I, if you leave me alone, I might die of the super diabetes that I have. Who is she doing this for? Because it doesn't fool anyone. And I have to do it. I have to do it now. Like, you know, oh, I can't wait for you to not. Travel is going to be coming up and I'm going to be like majorly screwed. Travel is going to be and coming up. See, it's so weird that she is wording it like that because everyone knows that it's a visa run. Like everyone in the world knows it's a visa run. She's the one who always pretends it's not a visa run, but she is deliberately wording it so much so that it makes it so obvious that it's a visa run. Because for most people, if they're not fit enough to travel for like, a holiday, they wouldn't plan the holiday. They wouldn't go on the holiday. So she's like wording it deliberately to like make it so obvious. Yes, this is a visa run, by the way. And it's like, it's like, so are we just accepting that now? Is she just being honest about that finally? Or it, does she think this is like a, a, a Super 17 DHS? And she's like, oh no guys, I'm tricking you all because actually I don't need to travel, but I'm just choosing to, even though I'm complaining about traveling before I even go. I can't just wait around for like, all kinds of treatment and things. Yes, I can like get help and stuff like that in the meantime, but I have to like take yes. the bull by the horns. Imagine. Really start somewhere. She because, said this so many because, times. Because otherwise like it's, you know, I don't have a lot of time. I feel like, I feel like I don't, don't. have a lot of time to diddle doddle around and keep saying, okay, this is the last hurrah. This is the last hurrah. Yep, imagine. Oh, she's so sad. I know this video was like bleak and kind of depressing. It's not, it's quite amusing. <laughs> Uh, I, I will raise my dick card high here. Like, uh, I don't I, I, I think it's hilarious. I think it's hilarious because it's so pathetic. It's not like sad or depressing because no one likes her. No one cares about her. Like, I don't f even find her situation in life like bleak and depressing. I find it pathetic because it is so, so repetitive. Like, her saying, going, I stop doing the last arrest. It's like, yeah, you, you, you probably should. I don't feel sorry for you when you're sitting here in a bed that you have made. <laughs> I'm complaining, God damn it, I hate this bed. It's like, well, you're the one who chose the cheats. So I don't fucking care that you feel sad about this. But Ugh. hopefully, inshallah, that that will change. And hopefully, I'm pretending to be religious again. The videos will be better. <laughs> in what way? <laughs> in what way will your videos be better? Oh, yay, guys, she's eating a different type of food for this mukbang. Oh, yay, guys, she went to a different park to kind of walk around a little bit. Yay, so exciting. <laughs> you know what, guys, I'm going on, my, on a dream vacation. <laughs> Where? To challenge myself. And I might even leave the apartment this time. Yay. And do something different and bring you guys take you guys traveling you know that's just like a dream of mine but you're a shit travel vlogger that's probably the biggest issue with her if she actually tried to like market herself like have a separate channel not the, the fucking silly couple channel that no one cares about and it's been dead in the algorithm for like three years if she started a brand new channel that was something like the frugal travelers or shoestring travelers or something like that which is her traveling on a budget but she can't do that because she has to try and pretend that she's super rich so she can't say this is my shoestring holiday because i'm super poor and i'm trying to do a visa run here so i have to leave and i have to go to thailand or something like that for a short period of time she can't do that because she has to try and flex on everyone that's why she's in it's why i find it pathetic and i don't feel sad, sad for her in any way Everything about her is a fuck up because of all of her lies and her bad decisions. And then she turns around and goes like, feel sorry for me guys. Like, nah, I'm good, brah. Oh, um, you're gonna find a sentence there somewhere, kid? I know my pretty, oh, pretty I was like thinking I'm agoraphobic. I, I guess I'm not if I can leave my house is what? what, you know, people. When did you think you were agoraphobic? We're saying, but. Did she do this in one of the mukbangs? I, I guess. <laughs> Did she claim to be agoraphobic? What is that? Was that her last excuse for not leaving the house? What was that? <laughs> I guess people did convince me that I'm not agoraphobic because they did tell me that I'm not scared of leaving my house. And I guess that's true. <laughs> it's like, guys, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm scared of, a ra of, I'm of arachnophobia, guys, as I sit there petting a tarantula. <laughs> 
Of course you're not agoraphobic. You claim to be claustrophobic. Why can't you be both claustrophobic and agoraphobic? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. And if I can travel across the world? Can you travel across the world? Point? Can you travel? Well, um, no, that doesn't actually make sense. <laughs> the agoraphobic thing actually doesn't relate to that part of it. But when you're going out and doing walk around shit in public, getting filmed and uh, like basically humiliated in public over and over again, that's why I know you're not agoraphobic. But like, Going to Q8, that doesn't disprove agoraphobia because you're just going to sit in an apartment. It's not like you're going to um, uh, Q8 to live on the streets or something like that. If, if you were doing that, maybe that'd be agoraphobic. But you're like living in a smaller apartment than the villa. Like that's even less agoraphobic. Yep, there we go. I'm just uh, ignorant, I guess. I don't know. I just made it up for clickbait, I guess. But. Oh my God. Do you want to find a point? Work. I need a health park. Maybe I'll start a support group on Facebook or something. Uh, I don't know. What? Imagine, oh god, imagine the message she would get during that fucking support group. <laughs> Every single morning it'd be like a toe check-in. Chantel, take a picture of your toes again. We want to make sure you got all 10 of them still. No. Oh, sorry, Chantel. We want to make sure you got all 12 of them still. <laughs> people dealing with this. That oh. also are looking, are feeling lonely about it, you know? Oh, so, so lonely. How about you brush your teeth? I don't know. I've, I've spent the last like 20 seconds just staring blankly at our teeth. How about maybe you go and like brush your teeth? How about every time you feel sad, you go and brush your teeth? <laughs> that, I don't know, improve one aspect of your life. How about you get a hobby? How about you do anything? I've said this like numerous times about Chantel. One of the biggest reasons she eats herself to death is because she doesn't have a life. Like when you're just sitting around not doing anything, you're much more likely just to sit and pick or eat or binge or whatever it is. If you had a hobby, your life would just be better. Everyone should have a hobby. Even if it's something lame, like watching VTubers or like building model tanks or something like that. That's a hobby. It get, it distracts you. It gives you something to do and focus on. As opposed to, oh, uh, well, I might as well eat a second for I can help me chicken mac loose. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you agree to me, say? A good health routine. And me and routine. Your health routine is to not eat 17 burgers a day. That's all your health routine would be. That's all she needs. You know, it's like oil and water. So. <laughs> I honestly thought she said a whale and water. And I was like, so fitting. <laughs> I guess she said oil and water. But I need to do it. It's like the, it's one of the main things keeping me from succeeding in life. You know, in Is my it? own personal life. Well, no, surely, like, having a shit personality, having new money, having a fake marriage, just being a terrible person, surely all those probably factor into, like, restricting your life more than, while well, you're fat, like, that, that, especially if you're pretending to be 340 pounds or whatever the fuck you're pretending to be right now, surely, just being a C you next Tuesday matters a wee bit more. Life, so, anyway, I just thought I would anyway. come here and... Just click me in and waste time put 70 mineral ads down. in. Even though my way in is... You should feel down. You should. Big. You know, I thought I was going to be, like, up there because I haven't been eating healthy. I've been eating a lot on certain... Wow, that would be magic then. I, well, I don't even get the point of this. Like, why give us a fake way in and then just keep going back to it and hammering it? It's like, I, I, I guess maybe she's trying to do, like, the Amber Lynn thing of, like, just being so blatant with her lies like to try and like upset people so they're like anger like rage click watch in the future i guess that's what she's trying to do but it's just kind of like lame because she's just really bad at it <laughs> i've been binge eating i don't like you i need to keep track like i need to journal when it happens why how i feel what i eat why which is what therapy has told me in the past you know the therapy has told me in the past you know that one time i went for that one session recently before immediately quitting you know that you know that therapy guy what would a journal really do for you? Like, your videos are your journal. Like, every single day, you put up a mukbang. Like, every, like, so what's the journal? Your your journal is your YouTube channel, and it's nothing but eating. Stay hydrated. Stay, uh, see, I'm drinking water, guys. Do you believe me? Do you believe me? That barely even touched your fucking lips. That barely even touched your lips. You weirdo. People with type 2 diabetes need to be extra hydrated. I love she just keeps saying Especially that over on, and over like, medication, again. Especially like on medication, like metformin and stuff like that. Are you on metformin? Like still? Um. Did she fart? Did you just fart? 
Um, she did to make smelly bitch. <laughs> did you guys hear that? I got an audio boost the fuck out of the head and editing. She farted out, you big smelly bastard. That's why you lost weight. You're shitting yourself right now. Maybe Sal is beneath her. Maybe that's not a gamer chair. Maybe Sal is just underneath her. Maybe that's why she sits in the gamer chair all the time. We have never seen the base of that gamer chair. Maybe it's like those fetish chairs and there's a hole cut in it and Sal has his head stuck up through it. And she's just sitting there just squirting away on him. Sorry, Chantal, get back there. Whatever fucking nonsense you're talking about. Problems, if not, so oh, she's got kidney problems, like, guys. Like I don't want to treat my body this way anymore. You know. Well, you're I'm going so to. I'm so grateful to have a life to be Why? part of this <laughs> world. I'm gonna keep signing like you know, such thing. Like, Why? Are you pro oh, oh yeah, uh, ham hamdala. Like, th thanks, Chantal. I'm glad you remembered that you were religious. Fucking eleven minutes into this bullshit. Why would you be happy with this? Why would you be happy with this as your life? That's, that's all I have to say. It's why it doesn't really work for her. Like Amber, Amber, I get can pull the trying to like rage bait better because Amber Amber makes a decent amount of money. Like considerably more. Like Amber can upload a video once every three days, once every four days, once a week if she wants, because she can get like like, it's not great anymore. She's down to about, like, 40,000, like, views per video. Sometimes, like, 50,000. It's been really bad for Amber recently. But, like, a couple of months ago, she was at the point where she was getting, like, 60 to 70, 80,000 views every single one of her videos. Foodie's getting, like, 9, 10, sometimes 8, sometimes even, like, lower than that. It just depends on what she's doing. Like, she has a terrible life. She, li she lives in a box that is overheated, she hates her life, she hates everything about her life, she has to fake a relationship that literally no one believes. So some people believed it. Maybe that might be a little bit of dopamine for her, but literally no one believes it. Amber at least has money, <laughs> you know? Amber has money and has a reasonably large apartment for her just like flopping around by herself. Amber also seems like more mobile than foodie. Like, I get people saying, oh, I wish I had Amber's money or something like that. What do you look at with foodie and go like, God, I wish I had that like little golden crown thing, that miniature chess set? Is that a miniature chess set? <laughs> I wish I had that empty box of tissues. Uh, <laughs> I wish I had that Ramadan decoration. It's still hanging there a month and a half after Ramadan's over, but it's still just there, boys. Like, what are you jealous of? And I don't want to waste it. You have already. Too bad. Sucks like, to be I you, bro. Like, I feel like there's just like a wall surrounding me is and just on the other side if i can figure out how to break that wall lean against this like an amazing life wow a healthy life there isn't there i'm going to spoil it for you there isn't there, there for you at your age with the health problems that you pretend to have i don't know if she actually has them or not there isn't there, there just there isn't because even if foodie beauty had a magic pill like allah himself came down and was like god i was so impressed with you that you remember to say bishmillah that one time before you ate all that rice I was so impressed with you. Here's a magic pill. You're going to wake up tomorrow at, I even say she wakes up tomorrow at 25 and she has big old titties, big old ass. She's 110 pounds. She's five foot three. She's, mm, she's gorgeous. Something full head of hair. She would still have a shit life because she's a shit person. The end. Health is well. No matter how much money you have in life, you don't have either. Nothing. You have neither. So <laughs> is that her? Is that her gambit here to try and pretend? See, guys, I'm so rich, but I can't even spend the, all the massive amounts of money I have. Is that her gambit here, bro? You ain't got neither. If you can't do anything, if you're not healthy, if you're just gonna like. That's why your life would still be shit. Health, you know. So. This is why her life would still be shit, even if she lost anyway. all the weight. She has nothing, nothing outside of this. I said of her YouTube channel, which is being a fat loser, and yes, that is basically all her, her YouTube channel is. Her YouTube channel is being a fat loser, so if she did stop being fat, she would have nothing. She would lose the only income she has, which is being a fucking train wreck online. Let's go! I'm gonna show that chin, thanks. Redefine that jawline. I remember reading somewhere that... Was it the Quran? Oh no, it probably wasn't the Quran, sorry, she hasn't read that yet. Going from having an eating disorder like binge eating and food yep. addiction wow. fantastic you know you have that again changing to a healthier lifestyle it's a grieving process which i never thought of like oh i thought that was God. weird like i always really because you've pretended it's been that for like a year probably more i've heard her use the term grieving process 
for fucking ever. Forever. Now she's suddenly trying to pretend enlightened. I have heard that so many times. You could have done a drinking game a couple of months ago with the term grieving process. I only ever assumed, I only ever associated grieving with like a loss of a person. How about a loss of weight? How about you try that? How about, uh, we'll, we'll check it together. How about you lose some fucking weight and then you'll see. It can also be a loss of weight. Of an emotional crutch you've been using for 30 years or wow. 25. 45. Uh, probably at least 20 something years. So. <laughs> I love she just keeps like reducing it more and more because she has to have this LARP where she was like super cool and attractive or something like that when she was a kid because all of her stories are about how cool she was as a kid. Even though she will tell stories about being nine years old and like sucking up to people so they will give her poutine. <laughs> that is one of her own stories for only like a month ago. But no, guys. Oh, it's only been the last like 20, maybe, maybe, maybe four, maybe one year, maybe the last six months. How, how, how far are we going to go with this? It's going to be just yesterday I got an eating disorder, guys. Uh, maybe even younger, yeah, maybe 30 years. I mean, you know, when oh, I think about being a child, like I've told you guys many times about the stories. Wow. About comfort foods and stuff. I mean, being a big fatty, yes. So, yeah, you can totally grieve the loss of food in your life. You Grieving like the loss of time right now. I'm going to skip because I'm bored. Okay, guys, that's the end of the video. Um, yeah, I just kind of skipped through because the on she she must have just suddenly realized God, it's only 13 minutes right now. I need at least another 14 mid roll ads here, so I'm going to make it another four minutes. And she just started talking about the journaling again and how journaling is super important for her and she learned journaling. And I just think it was just the same shit over and over again. She of course then did the the thing I I made it fun of with Boogie earlier on. Where she said that she had done a live um, where she had swam. And she goes, and then when we stopped the live stream, I swam for another hour afterwards. I was like, no, you didn't. Because I looked and the live streams are like an hour each. And it's like, so you're pretending you swam for two hours now. We saw you in your other video where you did it for like 10 minutes. So <laughs> now she's like, she's like, they're swimming for two hours at a time, guys. And she hasn't done it in like five days, six days now, I think it is. Like a, nearly a full week. Oh, lame. Just really lame. Um, pretty embarrassing. Uh, really obvious clickbait. Uh, she started like joking around at the end because I think she was like, well, I'm, do I'm done now pretending to be sad and ooh -wee with my whatever fake health problems she's pretending to have now. Um, so she just started pretending like, look how quirky and cute and dainty I am, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna twy, I'm gonna keep swimming and all, and I'm gonna twy really hard. And it's just lame. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it, guys. This one took longer to react to than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, but yes, that's it. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.